Hello everybody, this is Kendra with Cards by Kendra, and today I'm sharing a floral birthday card that features an alcohol ink background and the fresh cut floral stamp from My Favorite Things as part of the Team Tiny Birthday Hop. If you've never worked with alcohol inks before, you'll want to use non-porous paper, such as Yupo paper, which is actually a synthetic plastic, or you can use glossy paper or photo paper. You can even use watercolor paper that's been painted with a gel medium to make the paper water resistant. Here I have some gloss paper from Ranger that I've cut down into four pieces, and I also have some HP photo paper that I'll be working with. I started out using the gloss paper, and I picked out some alcohol pearls and colors that I thought would go well with the Fresh Cut Flowers stamp. I'm using Enchanted, which is the lighter pink color, and Envy, which is the green, and then Intrigue, which is the darker pink. It's really important that you shake up your alcohol pearls really well so that the pearlized powder mixes in with the ink. If you don't hear the ball moving around inside the bottle, you may need to bang it on the table to shake it loose. I've also got my brand new Tim Holtz alcohol ink blower that I'll be using to move the inks around on the papers. I'm so excited to use this for the first time. The last time I made alcohol ink backgrounds, I used a straw and I got spit all over it. <laughs> and it wasn't just once either. So I just had to purchase one of these blowers. So here's the beautiful floral stamp that I'm using. To save time so you'll be able to watch the other videos in the hop, I cut out the footage of me making the first few backgrounds, but I thought I'd show you my results. I didn't end up using any of these backgrounds for this card, but I thought they were pretty and I wanted to share them with you. So I've tried to emboss on glossy and photo paper in the past and it did not turn out. I actually warped one of them and then the photo paper bubbled up on me. So for this card, I decided not to do either of those. I stayed away from the heat embossing. So instead of showing you all of those mistakes that I tried, I, I decided to just explain the process for making the background for the one that I did use. Um, for this one, I'm using photo paper. The ink doesn't move as well on the photo paper as it does on Yupo paper, but I'm currently out of Yupo paper, so I'm just using what I have. I started out adding a little bit of alcohol blending solution to the places on the photo paper where I know the big flowers will be stamped. I'm adding Deception Alcohol Pearls, which is the red color, and then I'm adding a few drops of solution again to the top of that so I can get the color moving. I'm using the blower to move the color around. Alcohol inks dry really fast anyway, but it seems like they dry even faster on photo paper versus Yupo paper. So I've had to add a little bit more solution to be able to move it with the blower. So I keep repeating this process until I'm happy with the outcome. While I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit more about this video hop. It's, it's to celebrate the birthday of Sierra with Sierra T Designs, who just graduated from the Team Tiny Facebook group because she reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is a huge accomplishment. She is a very good friend that has helped me so much throughout my card making and YouTube journeys, and I'm super proud of her. Because today is her birthday, we're doing a hashtag driven hop with a birthday theme. If you click on the hashtag Team Tiny Birthday Hop in the description, you'll be able to find all of the videos from other creators participating in the hop. There are giveaways along the way, so listen carefully to each video for the rules to enter on the different channels. Please leave a comment at each stop and consider subscribing. Since you're here at my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. So you may have noticed that I held up the stamp over the top of the background. I did this so that I could see where the leaves will end up being stamped so I'll know where to add the envy green color. Of course, this won't be exact, but that's okay. Next, I'm adding more blending solution to spread this around with my blower. So I wanted to add a few more drops of red to cover up the muddy area that was created from the green and red running together. So now that I have my background, 
I'm placing it inside of my Misty stamping platform and then I'll be inking up my stamp with Ranger Archival ink. So I like to rub my microfiber cloth across the top so I get a good even impression. And I always like to do two coats. All of the products that I'm using in today's video are listed in the description box below, along with some links if you're interested in purchasing them. Some are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I make a small commission at no extra cost to you. This helps to support my website and YouTube channel. Now that I have my background stamped, I'm cutting out Happy Birthday from the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strips All Things Happy. This makes making a card super easy. Then I take a piece of Craft Perfect Iridescent Mirror Card Stock in Seafoam Green to make a frame for the sentiment. I just cut it a quarter of an inch bigger than the sentiment strip. I'm using a piece of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock, which is 110 pounds. I'm using that for my card base. I've cut it vertically down the middle and I've scored it at five and a half inches to make a top folding card. I'm gluing a piece of black cardstock that's been cut down to four by five and a quarter inches. I'm gluing that down using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which is my absolute favorite liquid glue. You've probably heard me say in the past, if you've watched my videos, that it gives me just enough time to move it around before it dries. But, but it does dry fast, but it still gives you just a little bit of time to get it where you want it. Then I glue down the background, and because I'm trying to get this thing to dry flat, I place my craft storage bin on top of it. So I've glued the sentiment strip to the frame and here I'm just trying to figure out where to place it because I really didn't want to cover up the pretty flower but there was a white place right in the middle that I wasn't really crazy about. So I just decided to put it directly down right in the middle, cover up that white spot and um, normally I use 3D foam squares to pop up my sentiment, but because I'm mailing this to my friend Sierra in Canada, I wanted to keep it flat so there wouldn't be any problems shipping it. Next, I added Nuvo Crystal Drops all over in both green and morning dew colors. The morning dew dries clear, but I thought that both of these added those finishing touches. And this is my card for the day. Sierra, I hope you have a very happy birthday and congratulations on hitting 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. So now I need to tell you about the giveaway that I'm doing on my channel. I'm giving away a total of six Copic markers in the colors you see here. I hit a bargain of a deal at Michael's recently and purchased a basket full of Copic markers. But there were a lot of duplicates, so I'm giving these away to one lucky winner. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber to my channel, and comment below and tell me where you're from and what supply you like to use best for coloring images, whether it be Copic markers, watercolors, or pencils. And then I'll be picking the winner on Saturday, October 17th, so you have until midnight, Friday night, October 16th. And don't forget that there's other giveaways along the hop, so be sure to click on the hashtag to check out the other videos. Give them some love, a like, a comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. 
For other card making inspiration, you can visit me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to see you again on the next video. I'd love to have you come back, so if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button down below. I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.